Okay. Yeah, one time I I was on a fishing trip. I didn't feel well. You know why? Um, I had a haddock. All right. So Knight F3 and MVL has to win. Some of the commentators understood and some didn't. Some of the commentators are like, oh, MVL is playing bad, ridiculous. Yeah. MVL has to win with black. Okay. So technically, which is the best kind of correct. Technically, MVL could still have won the tournament and played Magnus. He'd have to win both games, hope that Geary lost today, and then hope that Napomniachi loses tomorrow. He could, but so he has to win. And so he made the game messy. And what most people didn't know is uh, Jan with White. Um, man, I can't make the joke because I can't think of his name. God, it would have been great if I had continued. I, I figured it out finally. Mm -hmm. Now, I said MVL wanted to make the game messy, right? Okay. And uh, Jan wanted to make the game Ronaldo. So that's why it was different. Okay. All right. Now, what most people don't know is MVL has a monster plus score against Nepo like 5 to 1 or 5 to 0. Some crazy head to head score. All right. So MVL played crazy like Fox News. The double fianchettos. You know those fianchettos that are like double fianchettos? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, in this position, Ponomaryov on Twitter was like, whoa, why didn't MVL play here? Because, you know, you have C5, and you stop the knight from moving here. Or you, you could move there, but you could trade. So he thought it was crazy not to go here. Ponomaryov thought it was insane not to go here. That's the engine's second move, but okay. He played this. So MVL's playing very strange because he has to win with black and he figures this is the best chance to win with black, not to let Jan play 25 moves of prep. And as you all know, they don't know, that Jan had four seconds for this tournament, sort of like when you guys go to tournaments. And he had his, his usual seconds, then he had a secret illegal second. Tell him who it was, darling. What now? <laughs> <laughs> Who was his secret illegal second that nobody knew about? Oh, yeah. You did tell me. Yeah. Um, I forgot. It was strange, too. So That's that, correct. It was strange. Peter yeah, Lico. Lico. Yeah, yeah. Lico. Man, four seconds for a tournament. I was surprised by that. Damn. That's like a world championship match, four seconds. It's an important tournament. Mm -hmm. Okay. So white's obviously much better. White has more space. This bishop, you know, sucks donkey balls. So it's, you know, good for white. White has, you know, white's doing great. Okay. Then he played knight e8. Again, he's trying to play weird because he has to win. He doesn't want white to have an easy time of it. His knight's going to go to d6, confusing the audience. Sometimes you see the knight on d6 and the bishop and, actually, no, it's e6. I was wrong. It's e6. So you never see the knight on d6. I was thinking of accelerated dragon variation, but that's the knight goes here. Okay. So it's very weird. Basically, MVL is playing like the way I play when I play one minute against like a 900. And then I still lose. All right. So Napomniachi got connect four. And MVL has tic-tac-toe. So it's a big fight. Rook e8. Bishop e5 is good. And this is funny because he plays e6, and then he plays e5, right? And they showed this position of the soup Nazi, and he said, no on person for you. Because he played e6, e5. Yeah. <laughs> so the game's all blocked up and weird. The engine always likes white because white's got this going on. I mean, so, you know, bishop's no good. Always retreat. Wants to play b4. He does. Okay. Now this knight's terrible, but this is a little weaker because it's not defended. So black could get some kind of, you know, hit him, hit him when he's up, hit him when he's down, hit him when he's up, hit him all around. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Then he would fly like an eagle. Mm -hmm. What? All right. Um, 
So black has counterplay here, potentially, and black has counterplay here, potentially. Now, obviously, the engine likes white because white has more space and it, you know, plays properly. The engine wants to play c5, which is a pawn sacrifice. And Pomniachi plays e4, building his center. If you build it, they will come, they will come right? <laughs> Especially Dr. Pepper. In uh, Love and Death, uh, when he agrees to uh, a gunfight, a duel, he says, my seconds will contact your seconds. And Woody Allen says, if my seconds aren't available, tell them to contact my thirds. If my thirds aren't available, tell them to contact my fourths. Uh, Rick and Morty court thing is hilarious. That is correct. It's extra hilarious because it's tr it happened. Yeah. You're having a stroke missing these references? Yeah. If you saw the stream last night, you'll get the Dr. Pepper reference. I'll explain it to Karen later. Okay. So F4, it's disgusting. Okay. Dr. Pepper? The, 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 the thing I'm referencing with Dr. Pepper is yeah. disgusting. Oh. Yeah, that's right. It's a joke I heard before you were born. I was a kid. I still don't know the joke. Good. If I tell you the joke, you'll be like, that's disgusting. Okay. So 92, this is all defended. This is blocking. So the bishop and knight are bad, and they should feel bad. It's hard to attack when you're attacking with a pawn. And white has all these pieces here. Now, I like this move by MVL. And here's why. This is the difference between super GMs and the gawking rabble. The reason white played <clears throat> knight to e2 was to vacate this diagonal. Much like in Geary's game with Wang Hao, when Geary played b3, queen d4, queen b2. He wants to get the queen here and trade queens. Then black obviously has no attack. Queens are off. And white still has this monster uh, pawn storm against these terrible pieces. So the reason he played knight e2 is at some point, possibly now, he wants to take this, take this, then put the queen on the diagonal. And MVL realized that when white played here. So MVL took on g3. Now you can't open up this diagonal and trade queens. Very good move. Okay, the engine plays hg and the Pomniachi played fg. Probably that's not as good. And then C5. And they were analyzing C5 on the uh, stream I was watching with Anand Hess and Danny Wrench. And if you want great chess analysis and you have Anand and Hess, make sure you add Danny Wrench. Now you have great analysis. If you, if you watch that, yeah. Wrench just makes one joke after another to Anand. And Anand's like, what? It's like, it is. <laughs> yeah. Wrench is like, hey, <laughs> Vichy. And, and Vichy's like, yeah, all right. Like you and Hikaru? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say like me and Hikaru. <laughs> Vichy's like, thanks for having me on so you could tell stupid jokes and not look at the chest. I game. like Danny. Yeah. I like his jokes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you don't have a non on and then, you know, you start telling jokes. Yeah. And then Vichy's like, no, you know, analyzing right. 100 moves ahead. So Vichy was looking at this, and they looked at takes, and they looked at takes on passant. It's not clear that Jan knew the on passant rule, because on passant is a French term, and he's playing a Frenchman, so he probably thought that would be a risky venture. Mm -hmm. Okay. The engine right now on depth, what depth, 28, does take on passant. says white is slightly better. He took here, and now black sacrificed a pawn. And this is a human move. Probably the engine will always take this way. But then the knight is on a6. So he took with the knight. He's like, I don't care about this pawn. I care about activity. The extra pawn is this one. That's not dangerous. It's blocked. So all the GMs like the pawn sack. The engine did not, because white's up a pawn. Now, Queen's EA confused everybody. I mean, why can't he just move the knight the next move? Understand. Well, the pawn would be here, so he couldn't move his knight there. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's a great square for the knight. But, uh, he could go here. That's why the engine wants to take with the pawn. Now, again, he wasn't concerned with the pawn. He was concerned with activity. His rook is active on the open file. His queen is. This bishop can't move anywhere. These knights are excellent. These are sort of passive. The king is exposed on the diagonal. So... Everybody was expecting an attack here, like rook f8, 
Queen g5, rawr. But he retreated because... Um, he's fr French. He's French. He retreated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what's funny is when they agreed to a draw and they were going to analyze the game, mm -hmm. MVL said, I surrender. <laughs> it was strange. Yeah. It was like a kangaroo court, except they weren't in Australia. Okay. Uh, now you, you want to make a trillion dollars? Yeah, you already owe me several trillion. But let me, here's another one. <laughs> okay. okay. The, the, the playing venue, the city, Yeah. Okay. it's considered the third city of Soviet Russia. Moscow 1, St. Petersburg 2. Where are they playing? It has 1.5 million people. Let's see, Moscow 1... St. St. Petersburg, which used to be Leningrad, which used to be St. Petersburg. Probably Constantinople somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know Russian cities. Look at that. Look at, that, look at that answer. Yeah. That's the answer. Oh. And here's what's funny. It used to be called that. They changed the name from that to that. Mm. Now I'm going to tell you why the city's named that. It's named after Catherine the Great. That's the Russian kind of Catherine. Mm. Okay. You know? So, yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> I heard it's a, it's a good, it's nice. They, they built a lot of skyscrapers and so forth. All right, so he doubled up on the bubble up, and he's a pawn up, but black has good compensation. And this very passive way that he played, that made sure he had no winning chances. And he made a very bad move later, which just made sure he could never win, and he could probably draw. Knight d1, always retreat. Psychological warfare against the Frenchman. Defending his pawn. Now he can go here and defend it again. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And rook b8 is, is pathetic. If black wants to win, and he has to win, he has to keep all the pieces on the board. This leads to a worse ending where he's going to draw or lose. What's the rook doing here? Is it going here? Is it going here? No. So we should start attacking the king. And you could play like knight here, knight here, and try to get in there. And you could play knight here and here. You could draw more arrows if you were a better player, like Hakaru. But I'm not a better player, so I can't. Mm -hmm. Rook b8, so, the commentators were furious. Furious. So why didn't, like, when, when it went queen d8? Yeah, I'm going to answer that. Why didn't the rook right, take Right, I'm going to answer that. Okay. Yeah, I knew what you were going to ask. Yeah. After rook takes, mm -hmm. you're von trapped. Not see good. I was trying to see if it was trapped. Oh, yeah. 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 You can't go Vishwa nowhere. Yeah. But I looked at this earlier before you were born, mm -hmm. and it says rook takes is equal, but nobody wants, because you have two pawns for the exchange. But, I mean, this bishop's no good. The pass pawns are blocked. It's good winning chances for black. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And after, <clears throat> after some move like queen g5 has a different reason why if you take this, I have, like, queen here check. So you can play rook f8 and queen g5 and, you know, try to penetrate. Okay. So rook b8 giving away all chances of black ever winning. So this is a two-result game. White wins because he's up a pawn or white doesn't win. But black never wins, ever. So this is, I mean, MVL gave up. He's like, I guess I can't win. Let me draw now. Now, normally in this position where white's a pawn up, for nothing, but it's like almost impossible to win. You would try to win forever, right? But Jan, who made the time control, looked over at Geary's game and he said, frankly, delicious. So he knew what was going to happen in Geary's game, so agreed drawn. Mm. Now, they might have drawn if they had, if you know, the game went forever, but White might have won. White's up a pawn, but I don't know how he wins. It would take a thousand moves of maneuvering, you know. But he wouldn't agree to a draw here if it wasn't for the other game. He would have he kept playing. Mm -hmm. But he knew what he was doing. 